hey everybody how you got people my name is sister blanche welcome to my channel if this is your first time but well, obviously if this is not your first time welcome to my welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be very quick and very short i would love to talk about something as if you have me on my facebook on facebook you know that i posted this picture here two days ago about halloween so today i decided to have a quick 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 view or chat and give some facts about halloween so the question is if i do you think Halloween is good or if I think that Christians should, should celebrate Halloween so here's the thing if you have God you should know more about spiritual things how the spiritual things works how the thing everything in the spiritual life works so here's the thing we know the devil as a deceiver as a liar so the devil deceive people so it brings on the table the things that you will not really think is it has something to do with, with evil you really don't really think so it would take God to tell you that the things is wrong why because he doesn't want to hand in hell alone he doesn't want to go to hell alone so he uses things to bring you to him and worship him why can Halloween bring you take you to hell obviously the bible talks about worshiping idols worshiping the devil image so everybody who worship the God, devil's image wouldn't be able to meet with god wouldn't be able to go to heaven wouldn't be able to be with god one day why because the devil has put on the table something for you to worship he doesn't show his face he doesn't tell you that i am the devil he doesn't tell you that this thing is, is for, to deceive you but it brings the table the things on the table it presents the things as a sweet meal so you will eat and not knowing that things is evil so one day when you stand before god god will tell you no you was worshiping actually the devil so halloween is one of the things the devil has put on the table on people's table to eat without you knowing or some of us we know that is not good but yet we'll still go eat we'll still go do it why because we we think it's something normal but let me tell you today if you think Halloween is something good to celebrate as a Christian as a daughter or son of God if you think that Halloween is something you do for fun today I'm standing as as, as God's, God's daughter at the peak of the Lord I'm telling you that if you are a Christian believer of the Lord and you celebrate Halloween I'm gonna tell you to stop put a stop to it because one day you will stand before God and you celebrate Halloween will come on your life story because it's not of God the Bible tells us that we should do all the things that glorify the Lord so as a children of God before going to do things you need to think something is this thing I'm doing glory it's gonna give glory to the Lord if it's not gonna give glory to the Lord then put it aside the Bible tells us that we serve a jealous God God our worship our time our everything is for God so when you put God aside for you to worship the devil it means you are for the devil because you're putting your God aside and you're doing things for the devil as we know our God is the God of the light and Halloween focus on the death so we shouldn't really focus we shouldn't really celebrate Halloween because we serve the God the God of life and Halloween things to do with death so we shouldn't involve ourselves in such things that's one fact fa and the Bible tells us about that darkness and light has nothing to do together. So are you really a Christian? Are you really a children of God, of the light? And do you really, you know, do you not really know who you are? Do you really know who you are? If you know who you are, you are a light. You shouldn't get yourself involved with everything that has to do with the darkness. So you need to think about that as well. And and the Bible is telling us to be different from the people, from others, to be separated from the world. It's not just because the people are doing it, just because the city that you live everybody's doing it you shouldn't not, you shouldn't get yourself involved like me I was born in Africa I was born in Congo in Af in Congo we don't have such as Halloween but since I moved here I never involved myself in such thing why because it doesn't you know it doesn't work to me I should say okay let me do it as well because all the people are doing it but I can't get myself involved to it because I know who I belong so this video it has something to do with it so the Lord is talking to you he's talking to the children you shouldn't get yourself involved in such thing because he doesn't glorify the Lord everything that doesn't give glory to the Lord you shouldn't do it why because you should live your life to give glory to your king you should live your life to give glory to the Lord that you serve the Bible telling us about not serving two gods in the same time so you're serving the 
world or the table and you serve in God. At the end, you will end up with the table. You wouldn't end up with God because God doesn't share his glory with anyone. He deserves all our glory. He deserves all our adoration. He deserves all our time. So in this video, I just wanted to talk about Halloween. So if you're a Christian, you think it's a good thing to do, I'm going to tell you today, I'm telling you with all my heart, it's the wrong things to do and it's not good enough. It doesn't give glory to you, God. When you do it, you celebrate the devil. You celebrate him. As I said before, the devil wouldn't tell you this is wrong. This is me. He wouldn't do it. He will hide it. That's why we call him deceiver because he's gonna hide it and he was gonna pretend as if nothing, it has nothing to do with him. But let me tell you the truth, he has everything to do with him. So I just wanted to share this with you. I hope that this is gonna bless you. It's gonna bless you. Be careful what you do, how you do it, because one day we're all gonna stand before God, and I don't want you to regret that you was going doing something that you didn't really think. So today I'm talking to you. God is talking to you. So one day when you stand before God, this video will come up because somebody told you about this. God bless you and I love you so much. Bye.